On a controversy in the classroom after the Florida Board of Education approved a set of standards for how black history should be taught in the state's public schools. The changes sparking widespread criticism, including from Vice President Kamala Harris. Local 10's Andrea Martinez has the latest. Controversial curriculum on the horizon for students in the state after the Florida Board of Education tweaked its guidance over how slavery is taught in classrooms. Specifically, the new guidelines require kids in middle school to be taught, quote, how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. That has sparked backlash nationwide. How is it? that anyone could suggest that in the midst of these atrocities that there was any benefit to being subjected to this level of dehumanization. Governor Ron DeSantis denies having any role behind the new format, but is taking an issue with the vice president's words, saying, quote, Democrats like Kamala Harris have to lie about Florida's educational standards to cover their agenda of indoctrinating students and pushing sexual topics onto children. Florida stands in their way, and we will continue to expose their agenda and their lies. Nonetheless, people on both sides of the issue are speaking out even during a roundtable discussion Sunday on This Week in South Florida. By talking about slavery, we've effectively victimized. The sole thing you come away with is, is the victimization of, 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 of African Americans on one hand and guilt on white students on the other. Do you, do you That's the that wrong way? approach. I don't think you should feel guilty for something you did not participate in. We can't both sides slavery. There's no upside to it. It was inhumane. It was a travesty. It is a blemish on the country. That was Andrea Martinez reporting. Florida's Education Association has come out against these new guidelines, saying they diminish the historical events that have happened in the United States past. But remember, those guidelines are for middle school. High school students will also have to abide by some tweaked guidelines requiring teaching both the acts of violence perpetrated against African Americans and by African Americans.